Hi, Danielle again, coming to share with you another recipe for how you can use all of those strawberries that you're going to be growing in your garden. Um, ours are still growing, but this is a recipe I've done for a very long time because um, as we told you before, Addison and I are both strawberry fans. So I've been doing this before um, there was an Addison, but you only need a few ingredients. You only need one, two, three, four, five, five ingredients. So here's what you need. Of course you need a package of strawberries or two, um, depending on how much of a strawberry fanatic you are. Um, but if you're getting them out of your garden, you know, estimate a package or um, 16 ounces of strawberries. You need a can of condensed milk. You need um, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, one um, 16 ounce package of Cool Whip, and an angel food cake, or you can make an angel food cake depending on how you're feeling. But today ain't nobody got time for that. Um, it's late and tomorrow is a luncheon for what is teacher's appreciation week this week. So I'm gonna whip this up real fast and have it ready for Addison's teacher and all the other teachers because I appreciate my four hours, three days a week. Um, and I appreciate all that they do, seriously. So we're gonna get started on this. And I do want to tell you like, this of course is not plant-based, but if you do wanna do it plant-based, you can do it plant-based. Um, True Whip has a plant-based Cool Whip. You can use, this is coconut cream, so you can use that to make your uh, Cool Whip if you don't want to use the one that's already pre-made, pre-processed. Um, you can also use coconut, this is the cream, but you can also use coconut milk to make a condensed milk. Um, coconut milk and maple syrup or agave. The agave is a lot sweeter than the maple syrup. So, um, you know, you can use either one of those to whip up you a condensed milk. Of course, the strawberries are already plant-based. The Cake Hill makes a plant-based cream cheese. Um, I did forget one ingredient though. Um, if you want to add a teaspoon of vanilla to this, either mixture then that would be awesome um haven't quite figured out a plant-based alternative to the angel food cake because of course that is made with egg whites in it but pretty much a lot of the things out there that you can make like if you wanted to use a pound cake um or a, a lighter fluffier version of a pound cake um there are egg replacements out there egg replacements um and flaxseed, flaxseed, ground flaxseed um, works to do the same thing, bind the ingredients together um, with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. But um, that's another recipe for another day that I will um, be sharing with you guys. Oh yeah, and you're also gonna need either a mixer or a good spoon and some elbow grease. You want to dump the soften cream cheese into the bowl and give it a mix. My little helper is joining. Say hey. Hey. I'm a little bit shy. You're not shy at all. Next you want to start mixing in the Cool Whip, so I spoon that in there and mix that in with the cream cheese. Oh, cool. Okay, now it's all mixed and thick and creamy. So we're going to add in the condensed milk Yummy. You can add in quite a bit of this. Um, you can do a half or you can do the full. Because that cream cheese, of course, you know, is pretty. Um, okay, nice. It's not like sour cream, but it's not sweet at all. 
and the cool whip is kind of mildly sweet so you can just um do the whole thing if you want and it kind of thins out that thick cream cheese and cool whip together Okay, can I and taste that? run it through the mixer again or give it a strong stir. Hey, can I see it? Can I um, taste that? Can I taste that too? I'll let you taste it in the mix. Now it's nice and Curly. smooth and Curly. still thick, but got a much lighter. looser. Yes, yeah, lighter. That's the word, Eddie. <laughs> much lighter consistency to it. Um, so it's ready to spoon in the trifle bowl. This is the trifle bowl right here. Um, so we're going to layer it. So we're gonna do cake berries. And then the cool whip mixture. So we're gonna line. Can I do it? Yes. Clean. Everybody got clean hands. So we're gonna line. Have you washed your up. hands? Yes, of course. I don't Make sure you wash your hands, kids, before you start putting the cake in the bowl. Make sure you just we're just gonna fill in. The spaces here with the squares of cake. And that's another thing. I cut the angel food cake in squares. So whatever cake you're using, cut it in squares. Uh-uh. Look at you, greedy. Okay, so that's good enough. Just fill the bottom like so. Now, um... Help. Berries. Strawberries. Wait a minute. Not, that, not that one. Not the big one. Do the small. The big ones are going to go on top. You can see how I spread them out. Me too. But I'm going to bring the bowl really close. So I'm going to hold it up there and spoon it in. Correctly. And Spread it out so that it covers all of the cake and the berry. So it doesn't have to be a thick layer, but just make sure it covers um, all the cake and berries. And it does, so we can move on to the next layer. Squishy arm. But I know you didn't call my arm squishy. You are the king of squish. I did call your arm squishy. Boom. Forgot about the vanilla. Um, I'm just going to add a half teaspoon into the I remaining hope. mix and stir it in. Um, it just won't be in that bottom layer, but I that's fine. It'll all get it. mixed together. So I made it important. Stir that in.
So it's done. Now you just cover it with some um, plastic wrap and let it sit in the refrigerator. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. Bye.